if it is God that justify who is he that condemneth if Christ that died yea rather that he has risen again who is even at the right hand of God who shall separate us from the love of God shall tribulations or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword as it is written for thy sake we are killed all the day long we are accounted as sheep to the slaughter Yea, in all these things we're more than conquerors to them that love us. For I am persuaded, glory to God, I am persuaded <laughs> that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Christ Jesus our Lord amen do you have that testimony today I am fully persuaded meaning that I am confident I know that I know that I know that glory to God that nothing shall be able to separate me from the love of God there comes a time is a personal thing I can't ride on mama's prayers even though mama's prayers were good, granddaddy's prayers, grandparents, aunties and uncles and dads, and saints, the, the, the effectual firm and prayer of the righteous men availed much. Yes, thank God for you praying. But hallelujah, there comes a time that we have to stand on our own two feet. There comes a time that we're fully persuaded, meaning that you cannot, you cannot talk me out of whom I believe you cannot talk about you cannot talk me out of that there is no God you cannot talk about that God has not delivered me hallelujah what God did for me he'll do for you hallelujah glory to God God has no respecter of person and because of that we know this and because we know this we could stand on God's word we could stand on his word and know that God will see you through every situation so Glory to God. Let's break down the scripture. Hallelujah. In verse 28. For we know that all things work together for the good. To them that love God. And to them who are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. I may not understand the situation that I'm in right now. I may not understand because it doesn't feel good. Hallelujah. But according to James, hallelujah, chapter 1, he says, Count it all joy when you go through diverse temptations. It's nothing but a working of my faith. Is it joy when I'm going through the storms of life? No. But what it is, isn't it amazing? Whenever that trials come, we find ourselves falling on the Lord, falling on our face, calling on the name of Jesus and God brings us up and out of that situation and what it does is that it builds up our faith so therefore according to Romans hallelujah what Paul is saying it says that for we know all things work together for them that are called hallelujah all things work together for the good to them that love God and for those that are called according to his purpose and we are called according to his purpose glory to God Mm -mm -mm. And whom he foreknew, he's already predestined to conform in the image of son that he might be the firstborn among many, meaning that Jesus had to clothe himself into flesh and dwelt among us to let us know that we can be victorious in all things. Not only that, that Jesus had to clothe himself into flesh and die the only sinless blood so that man would not be lost. And for that, we give God the praise and glory. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. Thank God for him dying on the cross for us. Hallelujah. In verse 30, the word of God says, Moreover, whom he did predestine, he also called, and whom he called, he also justified, and whom he justified, he also glorified. He's talking about the Son of God. He's talking about Jesus. Glory to God. And because we walk in his footsteps, God has already predestined us. Hallelujah. God knew before the foundation of the earth that you would be tuned into the human channel to hear this awesome word of God to let you know you 
you do have the victory. Glory to God, in whom God is already predestined. He's already called from the foundation of the earth. Hallelujah. In whom he called, he also justified. In whom he justified, he also glorified. Glory to God. Hallelujah. As we line our lives, line our lives up. To the word of God. Watch God move. Watch God use you like never before. And for that we give him the praise and glory. Mm -mm -mm. Hallelujah. Then it says what shall we say to these things. If God be for us who could be against us. No matter what. No matter what witch from the north, south, east or west. Want to try to curse you. You cannot curse what God is already blessed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If God before me, who could be against me? The Bible says, whatever you've done to the least of my brethren, you've done it unto me. So it's not a personal thing, baby. Don't take it personal when people talk about you because they're talking about the Father. They're not talking about you. They're talking about the Spirit that dwells in you because the Bible says, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. My God. Hallelujah. Don't you know that you have the greater one within you and because you have the greater one in within you glory to God you have the victory glory to God and do you know that you have the victory do you have a personal Satan do you have a personal relationship with the father hallelujah now and if you don't now is the acceptable time because like I always say you must be rapture ready glory to God we must be rapture ready meaning that if Jesus cracks the clouds today can you honestly say heaven is your home? Can you honestly say, and if you cannot say that, glory to God, I need for you to open up your Bibles and turn with me to Romans 10. We're going to start at verse 10 through 13. The Word of God says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, Whosoever believeth in him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between Jew and the Greek. The same Lord over all is rich upon all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Aren't you glad you tuned into the Hewitt Channel to hear this awesome word of God? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, I admit I'm a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I'm willing right now to turn my life, turn my sins, and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you, ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life and fill me and take control. Help me to become the person you birthed me to become. Thank you, Father, for loving me in Jesus' name. If you said that simple prayer, all heaven is rejoicing. Pastor Brian and myself, we're praising God for you. Welcome to the body of Christ. And if you gave your life to the Lord, please visit our website and let us know that you gave your life to the Lord. And if you need a Bible, please let us know that too. We will make sure that you get a Bible. Once again, welcome to the body of Christ. And if you want to seed into this fertile ministry, click on the donation button. And also, if you need prayer, please click on the prayer request and fill it out because the effectual from it prayer of the righteous man availeth much. Once again, welcome to the body of Christ. You've taken the most important step. Now you ask God to lead and guide you to a Bible teaching church where God wants you to grow and be strengthened because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And also get active in the midweek Bible study. That's where you get strengthened in the word. That's where you get familiar with your Bible and you get to understand and know what the word of God says. So, once again, let's go back to you are victorious. Glory to God. We are victorious in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So, the, the Bible says, if God be for us, who could be against us? Hallelujah. He that spareth not his own son, but delivered, us, but delivered him up for us all. Hallelujah. How shall he not with him also freely give 
us all things. My God. Hallelujah. God says if you have you have not because you ask not. The word of God says if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Glory to God. Who shall lay any charge to God's elect? We are God's elect. Hallelujah. It is God that justify us. It's not within ourselves. It's not because Anita has always done good. It's not because I always did everything that God has called me to do. But it's because of his grace and his mercy. Hallelujah. God has justified me. Hallelujah. Justified just means to be in right standing with God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we could all be in right standing. The only thing we have to do, like we said, we accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Line my life up to the word of God. Glory to God. God says, I honor your desire. God said, I'll give, I'll give you your heart's desire. Hallelujah. If our desire is more of Christ, God will give us more of him. And because of that, we give him the praise and glory. And as we line our lives up to the word of God, we're already justified. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we thank God that God has justified. So I don't care what people may say but what does God say about you hallelujah and then we must know who we are in Christ Jesus according to Psalms 139 and 14 for I will praise thee why because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made marvelous are thy works and my soul knoweth right well glory to God and because I know this hallelujah I can walk with my head up high and know who you are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. You are God's elect. You are God's beloved. You are God's hallelujah apple of his eye. Hallelujah. The Bible says woe unto them that offend the apple of his eye. It's rather for him to tie a millstone around his neck and jump into the lake. Meaning it's better for him to tie an anchor around his neck and commit suicide. For them that talk about a child of God. God protects us. Again let me remind you if God before you who can be against you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is he that condemneth? If is Christ that died, yea, rather that he is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercessions for us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We don't serve a dead God. Hallelujah. God is not stinking in his grave. Hallelujah. He told them, he told the scribes and Pharisees, he says, in three days, hallelujah, I will rise again. Hallelujah. And aren't you glad that you serve a risen Savior? Our God is not on the cross. He is yet alive. Glory to God. And not only a lie, he's sitting at the right hand of the Father making intercessions for us. Glory to God. And for that, I love him. Glory for that. Hallelujah. We give him the praise and glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Hallelujah. Shall tribulations, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, proud or sore, nothing. Hallelujah. For it is written, for we, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep to the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we're more than conquerors through him that love us. Meaning that you have the victory. You just don't have the victory. He said you're more than a conqueror. Meaning that we triumph. God causes us to triumph always in all things. And for that we give him the praise and glory. So I want you to know you're more than a conqueror today. Hallelujah to them that love us. Hallelujah. And don't you know you love the Lord. And because we love the Lord we're walking up according to what your word says. Glory to God. And we love you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We praise God because God is so worthy to be praised. I want you to know, say to the most high God, you have the victory. You have the victory in all things. In all things. So, 
who shall separate me from the love of God? Nothing. I don't care what happens in my life. I don't care about the distress. I don't care about if I'm persecuted. Hallelujah. And when I have money or don't have money. Nakedness. Hallelujah. If I don't have the brand new clothes or if I get my clothes from a, from, from a giveaway, a food giveaway. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank God for God making a way out of no way. I don't care what comes our way. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Why? Because we're more than conquerors to them that love him. Hallelujah. What I love in verse 38. It's a declaration. Hallelujah. For I am persuaded. Meaning I am confident. I know that I know that I know that I know. Hallelujah. I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor persecution nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to what? Separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Is Jesus Christ your Lord today? Glory to God. Is Jesus Christ your Lord? Hallelujah. Because again, it's a personal thing. I got to get it. It's a personal thing. Hallelujah. I love you so much, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the personal relationship we have in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We bless God for you tuning in to the Hewitt Channel. I love you with the love of the Lord. Pastor Brian and I, we love you. We cannot tell you how much we appreciate you tuning in. If it's you, you scream, YouTube, Facebook, we love you. We love you. We love you. I want you to know today, the word of God today is you do have the victory. I have the victory. Repeat after me. I have the victory. I have the victory in all things. So for that we know that we have the victory in all things. Glory to God. So we love you. We praise God for you. Once again, thank you for tuning in to the Hewitt Channel. If you want to see it into our ministry, please visit our website at www.brianhewitt.com. Let's pray out. Most gracious Father, we come before you right now, Lord, in the matchless name of Jesus. Father God, we love you. We thank God, Lord Jesus, for your nuggets from heaven. Hallelujah. Just to encourage us to know that we have the victory. And Lord Jesus, we thank God, Lord Jesus, we will cast those cares upon you, for you care for us. And Lord Jesus, we'll be careful to give you all the praise, all the glory, in Jesus' name. Tune back in. At 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where my husband, Pastor Brian, will be ministering. So get ready to be blessed. So until we meet again, may God bless you and keep you.